lifts up God. A proud creature lifts up himself. Ezekiel 28, 17. Write that down. A humble creature realizes that everything he possesses, he has received from God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. Write that down as well. Bear in mind, every scripture I can level, just write that down one time. <laughs> a proud creature takes credit for himself and has nothing to do with God. A humble creature says, not my will, but God will be done. You can check Luke 22, verse 42 for that one. A proud creature says, I, my will, I care little about God's will. Pride is a problem we have today. Let us consider the five I wills of Satan found in Isaiah 14, verses 13 to 14. Mm -hmm. Number one, I will ascend into heaven. Lucifer wants to mount up or scale to the heavens. He wants to hide, have the highest position. Two, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Lucifer's position and service before God's throne was not enough. He wanted a throne from which he could exercise his final authority and make decisions pertaining to the angel, angelic host. Mm -hmm. He wanted to rule over all the angels. God had made him an exalted angel, but, God, but Lucifer wanted exalt, more of exaltation. He was not content with the shine of the morning star that God gave to him. He wanted to shine as a star of stars, the brilliance that outshines everyone else's. Three, I will sit also upon the mount of the, co of the congregation. He desires to sit on it. He desires to sit or enthrall himself in the highest place among the angels and exalt and exalt upon the subjugation of the angels. He wanted to, to be the center of attention. He wanted to be idolized. Four. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Right. The clouds often used in the Bible spoke of the God's glory. You can check Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. Acts chapter 1, verse 9. And Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. So that converted God's glory, one coveted God's glory for his own. He failed to acknowledge the glory and beauty that was, he thought that was his, was actually given by God. Right. His sinful pride, Lucifer wanted the glory of which, of which he impressed and dazzled the earth, all the creatures with. Five, I'll be like the most high. He wanted to be equal to God and take God's place yeah. as possessor and ruler of all. He wanted to become the complete, a complete independent creature who was responsible for, for, responsible for no one. Mm -hmm. I would love to say that I took responsibility for making these five examples, but I cannot. Pastor George F. Harrison was the creator of these five, five whose first five I wills. Mm -hmm. Everybody getting any chapter so far? Nobody fall behind? Very good, very good. <laughs> Both staff pastor. <laughs> Lucifer was once a perfect creature. He had become imperfect and sinful. Thou, thou was perfect in the way thou was perfect in thine way from the day thou was created until iniquity was found in thee. Ezekiel 28 verse 15 mm -hmm. Lucifer had been sinful but his sin no, Lucifer was sinless but, it, but he was sinless no more. God found iniquity and sin in his heart as an angel. Lucifer lifted his heart and got off track. God found an angel whose heart is little pride. Remember that with pride, people. Today, today we 
do not call this angel Lucifer. His name is now known as the devil or Satan. Remember, God did not create the devil. He created a perfect angel who had fallen the sin and his name became the devil. The devil's angels. At first, at first the devil was the only fallen creature. The other angel did not fall into sin. However, the devil did not remain the only sinful creature for long. He was also able to convince thousands of angels to join him in his revolt against God. After Lucifer fell into sin, God sentenced him and told him his punishment, everlasting fire. You can check Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Who was that for Sister, sister Felicia, right? You know all that stuff? Okay, like senior, you right? know, painting, as usual. Come on, you'll be at the gym. That's the usual thing in Sunday school. The devil then began to just do what his name, his name meant. The word devil means to accuse or one who slanders. The devil accused God. He said something like, you are not fair. How can a loving God like you sentence a creature to eternal fire forever and ever? We note, we learn, we learn that the devil's accusations in Ezekiel 28, verses 16 and 18. If you check in, if you look at Ezekiel, merchandiser in verse, verse 16, yeah. the same word is translated to trafficker in verse 18. It comes from the verb meaning to go about, to go about from one, one to another for trade or gossip. From the same Hebrew verb, you get the word tail bearer or trafficker of slander. Proverbs 11, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Chapter 20 and verse 19. Check those out if you want to see. Those verses in Ecclesiastes imply that the devil used use deceitful, slanderous talk against God in order to win an army of sympathizers among the angels. When the angels heard the devil's accusations, they had a decision to make. They listened to Satan's slander, who may have said something like, God is unfair, he is unloving. Is it right for God to sentence me to the lake of fire? Why? What did I do wrong? You, you may be next. Join up with me, and this will not happen to you. Each angel had a, made, had a decision to make to join up with Satan or remain faithful to God. Many of the angels made a wrong decision to follow Satan. And as soon as they did, their hearts were filled with sin. Check Revelation chapter 12, verse 2 to 4. It seems that three of the angels fell from that decision. These angels were called Satan's angels. Revelation 12, 7, and Matthew 25, verse 41. You can check that to see their reference of their names. These evil angels were also called demons of unclean spirits. Lucifer was the first creature to sin. Sin began in Lucifer's heart and made his heart and mind and spread to all the other angels that followed him. Beginning of sin took place even before the earth was created. What will happen to people if we lift our hearts from God? What will happen to people who bend their hearts low before God and others? Bear in mind, the way up is the way down, and the way down is the way up. See me after church if you want to know what that means. Alright. Remember, remember the son of Satan, and let it be a woman. This angel had the highest position. He was given wisdom, beauty, and power, but his heart was lifted up. Instead of giving God the glory, he took glory for himself. What can you do to keep yourself from being, being too proud? What can you do to avoid Satan's sin? That'll be it for you.